Times Square, the Producers Club, where you. Oh, you did, yeah. Right. And they let us have the theater with the with the idea being we could only have ten people in the audience, and we could only we we could only broadcast the play. We couldn't have an actual audience. And uh, Patrick actually shot the play for the for the festival. And so after the festival, I was like, I, I think this could be a movie. And uh, mm -hmm. and of course, Patrick is the guy who made it happen. Um, and so about a month after the play closed, we started shooting the movie. It yeah, was like, we, we didn't have anything else to do, so we put our masks on and started shooting this. Shot half of it there, and then came yeah. back the next year and finished up the rest, like the fight scene, right, and right. some of the funnier bits uh, that we yeah. put in there. And uh, we still didn't know, because it was originally a book, you know, yeah. a two-hour plus play. Yeah, the, the play was so kind we of... We didn't really know how to begin or end it, but we figured it out, and that's what you're seeing for the first time. It's is what we're showing to everyone for the first time tonight. I'm glad yeah. everyone reacted well to it. Where was that beautiful castle looking? That's, that's uh, my house. That's, <laughs> that, that's what she said. <laughs> no, that was, uh, I've, uh, we, we moved there from, uh, from Hollywood during the uh, pandemic. We, uh, when uh, I was living out in LA and uh, we wanted to do the play in New York. And so uh, uh, I started renting that place. And then when we wanted to do the movie, we thought, it's kind of a we can shoot there pretty cheap because I live there. And uh, so we ended up shooting there and it, it's really cool, kind of, it's like a 150 year old house and it's really haunted and weird. But um, it, it was kind of added a little character. So, to the yeah, so he was moving in, so we just said, let's just pretend he's moving out. We just keep <laughs> the boxes and it was a perfect set. Yeah. We just needed some lighting and, you know, but problem was every time somebody walked in the house you could hear like the floors creaking Bam. so if you listen real closely you could probably hear a lot yeah. of like wooden steps and one, yeah. one of my favorite ideas that patrick had is uh in the middle of the shoot my uh, my cat senator whiskers uh walked into one of the shots and patrick was like no let's use that <laughs> so uh we it was kind of cool uh being able to say that uh, my cat made a cameo in a film. <laughs> um, i'm curious about all of the characters are stand-up comedians right yeah yeah all of the um uh ron barba and i have been uh who plays bj uh, he and i have been doing stand-up together and theater together and uh, a lot of stuff uh, together and will thomas uh is also a stand-up comedian and jose vega and mike Dalto and i all tour and do comedy together so it was kind of cool we already had kind of a chemistry because we've all been working together we, the, the nicest thing about working on the film is it was just all our friends i, I definitely need mentoring so I, I will bug you and go to that castle and oh absolutely we'll make oh, you and, uh, t tell me about really fast though you know everyone's curious about film festivals edinburgh film festival is well, sounds edinburgh, interesting Ed edinburgh uh, the, we did the edinburgh uh, theater edinburgh does a theater film uh, festival and it also does it does a film festival it does a theater festival mm -hmm. and it does a comedy festival so it's all happening simultaneously wow it lasts a month so for one month straight in august every year oh, there's yeah. hundreds and thousands of plays and films and everything going on it's, it's a really cool thing if you get a chance do it, it's well worth the experience. The, the reason why I'm fascinated with the European culture right now, but oh, in, in conjunction to what he said, um, of course, don't forget to submit to the International Film Festival in Manhattan as well. Yeah. So it's commercial. Anyways, um, Patrick, um, I hope you don't mind me saying about, um, it, just to, to end it though, words of wisdom of um, learning from uh, this particular project. <laughs> um. They bring some money when you shoot something like this. <laughs> <laughs> because you have to buy booze. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that, that, that gets expensive. But yeah, I mean, every, every day some new crazy uh, expense would come up. But uh, we managed to, you know, uh, it was a real group effort. And, uh, and uh, you know, it, uh, that's kind of the beauty of the collaborations. It's also one of the coolest things about this festival. This is, uh, this is my third time doing uh, this festival in about a decade. And it's always like the highlight of the year. Um, I, I can't thank you enough for making this festival happen, man. Thank, awesome. thank you for having us, man. Yeah. 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 you um, yeah, we, uh, we won the best screenplay, which was awesome. I'm so sorry I swore during the acceptance speech. I, uh, we got a little, I am a little bipolar, so I guess that happens. Um, but uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you all very much. So um, when, once again, Adora's going to shoot a short video of your name, your position in the 